Welcome to Next Q. My name is Stephen Garner. I'm going to share with you my direction for your life. I call it my cues for living a great life. And today I'm going to share with you my five powers that will help you to destroy that miserable mindset that you have. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I encounter quite a few people who are miserable and some of those people are close to me. And what blows me away is that they shouldn't be miserable based on their lifestyle. Number one, they have life. <laughs> Let's say that. Number two, they have food. Number three, they have clothing. Number four, they have shelter. Number five, they have people like me in their life. I'm the continual perpetual optimist. And number six, in some of those cases, they have a lot of money and they are still miserable. I know you're not going to agree with me on this one. Being miserable has nothing to do with your circumstances. It has everything to do with the way you think and feel about your circumstances. I'm going to give you a real life example of this. John Brown, the abolitionist, was on his way to be hung in 1859 for attacking the federal arsenal. While he was riding through the Blue Ridge Mountains, sitting on his coffin, he knew he was going to die on his next stop. He looked up at the scenery and said, what a beautiful country. The first power you have is to create your perspective regardless of your circumstances. But here's what we do. We use our circumstances to create our perspective. Don't do that. It's backwards. Create your perspective. And so no matter what your circumstances are, you will always have a positive mindset. I have a story for you. A naval captain lost his entire fleet during a battle at sea. He was low on ammunition. His ship was much smaller than his opponent's ship. He knew if he tried to fight, he was going to run out of ammunition and he could die. He knew that if he tried to flee the scene, he was going to die because his opponent was going to shoot him out of the water. So he decided he's going to change course and use everything in his arsenal to defeat his enemy. He did something radical. Not only did he use all the ammunition in his arsenal, he rammed his ship into his opponent's ship and guess what happened? He actually won the battle. Even though he was smaller, but he used all the ammunition in his arsenal. Power number two, you need to use every positive thought you have to change course and defeat those negative thoughts. And I mean, do it today. You have the power to change the way you think right now while you are in the waters of your life and you are facing death by negative thinking, use even if you only have three positive thoughts, three positive things, what three good things happened that day? Kill the bad opinions. And what hurts us the most are those negative opinions that we have about ourselves. We also have a bad habit of trying to figure out what other people are thinking about us. We have no business in trying to imagine what other people are thinking about us. That's stupid. I want to quote the French philosopher Montaigne. He said, a man is not hurt so much by what happens as by his opinion of what happens. Murder your negative opinions. Do it right now. Start thinking positively about yourself. You're living. You have food. You have shelter. You have people who love you. Why are you looking for something that is not going to help you to live your best life today? Number four, stop trying to get even with your enemies. It's a waste of time and energy. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to make them feel bad for making you feel bad. But the problem with that is it never works. They may not feel the same way you feel after you have thrown your dirt, slung your mud, or whatever it is that you're trying to do to hurt them. You know, the thing is, is that hurt people hurt people. And if you're healthy, you're not seeking to hurt people. You're, you're seeking to help people. Good people put energy into being better. Bad people hurt people put energy into trying to hurt other people. Focus your energy on being a better person. And when I say being a better person, you want to have such a strong mindset that when your enemies do something to you, it doesn't affect you. It actually inspires you to be more kind, to be gentle, to be more positive, because you wanna be the complete opposite of them. They're actually teaching you how not to be. Number five, you need to have an attitude of gratitude. 
To me, this is the most important power that you have because gratitude looks for the opportunities to be grateful every day. Gratitude embraces the reality that there is a reason to live and to be happy beyond circumstances. See, you can't even control circumstances. Even if you did everything in your power to make everything right, I mean, you did everything right that day, something's going to go wrong. But gratitude says, I'm gonna find a reason to be thankful and appreciative, even though the situation may be bad. And see, gratitude will keep you going. You're not driven or affected or even impacted by those things. It's all about the way you think. So those are my five powers for you today. Listen, if you have that miserable mindset, today is your opportunity to change and enjoy your life. Listen, take your cues from me and live a great life. Next cue. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and comment below. Next cue.